Okay. Um, so we're looking at the privacy policy. So I'm going to quickly put that together um, and hopefully it shouldn't take too long. So the privacy policy, um, we get the text from, like in, if you're doing this course line, so this is a default policy, privacy policy. And I've, it's in um, the content area. And I'm just going to copy that. And I'm actually going to underneath, get rid of the privacy. Right, so get rid of that. So here, and I'm going to paste it. And I'm going to go into code view. Now, if I have a look at the live view, that's what it looks like. So I'm actually have, going to have to go in and actually do things. So your website map. So I'm going to have a look at this. And my, one of the benefits of um, this sort of thing is we can actually do some editing up here. We're not going to, we're um, in a privacy policy code view. So privacy policy here, I'm going to go heading one. And Dreamweaver um, fixes that up for you. Um, and I'm going to save that. So your website name. So website name is demo website. It's committed to high quality. So I have a look at that. After this, I'm actually going to go close the paragraph tag. So that's a paragraph. And this is the... Okay, so I've just put the... Um, the privacy tag in there and in there. Um, so that should um, that should be alright. Um, so we got the the sorry we got the paragraph text. Right, right. Just distraction. So for each one of these, we are just going to put in a p tag, and we're just going to control X, which is cut, and control P for that. So p tag, and I'm going to put that there. Now, what, so this here is, I'm going to put that as a heading 2, and I'm just going to move that across here. So that's a heading 2. And then heading 2's automatically put a break in, so I'm still going to put a p tag there, and a p tag there. So I just have to go through, and because like I've already got this bit in my clipboard, I'm actually just going to put that at the bottom end of each paragraph up to there, and then I have to go back and just put the opening paragraph tag at the top. So there. So sensitive information. This is heading two, and I'm going to move the closing heading two tag to the back of that. So, and if you are cutting and pasting, make sure you actually um, cut, control X, control um, V, and if you make a mistake, control Z. So, and we're just keeping through, paragraph tag, um, cut, control X, paste. So, now we've got this thing here. So, and it's put these ugly things at the front, so I actually need to remove those. So and so we've got a dot unordered list. So I need to go unordered list, and the unordered list actually comes through to the end there, and each of these is what we call a list item, and we need to. Control X, put it there, put it there, put it there. And I'm going to copy that and put it at the beginning and at the beginning. So, and so. So, let's have a look how it's going so far. So, we're starting to see, so we can see where we're up to um, since we can, so we can start to see. So, we've still got a, a little bit left to go. So, um, we may need to change our navigation bar around a bit because um, the um, unordered list 
here actually re, um, affects our HTML. So let's fix that up. So in our um, source, what we're going to do is we're going to take this and we're actually just going to wrap that in a div id equals nav and we're going to put everything so that all this appears inside this div here and if we really want to be pedantic it should be double quotes uh, not single quotes so all we've done there and then here all we need to do is go hash nav ul hash nav space li and hash nav that and hash nav that and what that does is inside the nav object any list elements and if we have a look at our privacy we can see that our list is back. We're still going to fix this up shortly um, once we finish putting the paragraphs in. So that's a heading two, heading one, heading two. Um, so we're going to keep going on that. So back to code here. So we've still got a fair bit to go. So I'm going to just um, third parties is a heading two. Um, I'll fix that up. Looks like heading two. Um, this is a paragraph and end of paragraph. Disclosure of personal information is a heading two. And I'm going to move that to the end of there. <coughs> this is another um, unordered list. So I'm going to go to the bottom of that. It's only two items in this. Delete the front of that list item move this to the back end up there um, list item and move the closing tag to the back end of there um, looking at this this will be security of that will be a heading two move the closing tag to here this is a paragraph um, closing paragraph this is a paragraph and this is a closing paragraph access to personal information might be heading two and we'll quickly grab that and do that um, another paragraph move the closing paragraph to the bottom there and we're just going through that so your website name so that's a um, demo website so paragraph move that there so and as I did before we can actually um, like rather than um, do it each time so I'm just using the keyboard and mouse H to navigate around quickly so control X control B so cut um, so paragraph like SP control X so this is another heading two. So I'm going to delete all that, move that up, uh, paste the oh, heading two. Sorry, heading two. So closing of heading two. So make sure you um, do. And then last one, paragraph, and close that. So let's have a look at that. So. Uh, one thing, let's have a look at the live view. So that's not, that's better than what it was. Um, so, let's have a look at this. <coughs> um, and we must remember to um, put div id equals nav around our navigation. Um, otherwise, it will only be a list. So in my code view, right at the top, div equals nav. <coughs> and now, um, 
so this is not too bad but I'm also going to put a div id equals privacy and I'm going to put that all the way around down to the bottom so what I've done is I've created a style so that we can actually go in here and we've got this privacy style and we can every privacy paragraph now I'm going to go text um, font sorry font family and gives me some default ones yours might be different I'm going to choose this one I'm going to also um, also say um, font size let me say 10 px font color or no sorry it's just color and I'm going to change the color to a beige and I'm going to set left um, margin left 10px and I'm going to have a look at how that goes so that's horrible that font is way too small and unreadable um, so I'm going to go back to Google fonts um, and I'm going to have a look for which one did I think was quite nice big shoulders text I'm going to add that in there have a look at what I've got so it just adds in like so I can see big shoulders dot text and that so back over in my privacy and go to my main style family equals and I've added in uh, from here I'm adding in well actually I might just replace the entire thing privacy Let's add it in big shoulders text and to use it that, that is how I use that so in my where I want to use it I'm going to go across to here and that was in I'm going to change my font family to big shoulders and it's a bit small so I'm going to say 10 uh, 14 maybe 16 still looks maybe 18 not happy with the color but um, it's all right and then we've got a few bits and pieces we need to fix up so privacy policy code view <coughs> into my source code so um, this here was not in a paragraph um, so that will fix up um, that section that the lists and sensitive information is not also in a paragraph so um, source code code view so sensitive information so paragraph there paragraph there in my main style my patch privacy and I'm going UL and I'm just going to say um, I want the same well, actually if I just go get rid of the privacy the paragraph tag anything inside the privacy is now going to be that font okay so let's have a quick look at that so I go code view I go down to my preview icon in Google Chrome so is it loading so that is one way of doing your prompts so about home and privacy now a lot of stuff there that I would like to fix up I would probably change that font because that is a really ugly font and it's like I would 
Um, I'm going to change it so that my privacy um, container um, has a width of, I'm going to say, 70%. Okay. And then I'm going to go privacy p tags. I'm going to say text align. And I'm going to go left. So let's have a look what that does. So um, back over here, split view. Um, I'll actually want to center um, the div. So we'll, um, now this is an example where centering divs, so centering text. I'm actually going to show you um, back over here. I'm going to go to, I don't need one note anymore, W3 schools again. So I'm just showing you how to find information about um, what we do. W3 schools. Um, and I'm looking for center align um, a div because I want to center align a div. And again, add, 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 HTML div align attribute. So that will align all the text in the center. But do I want to actually do it that way? Let's have a look how we do it. So if that will work. And I'll um, possibly will, possibly won't. So I'm suspecting. So it was, what are we using? We're using just the align center. So let's have a look. So my recording software is playing, playing it with it. Align, so just text line left. Align and it's center. Now we've got to remember that a lot of the things are American, so um, not that there's anything wrong with that, but just be aware. So, privacy and did that center it? No, it didn't. Why not? Let's just preview it to. Just Because essentially we need to set some margins. So we've got the width correct, but we need to set um, the margin so that the margins automatically center in the middle. So let's use W3 schools again. Um, margins align. So we're using the margins. So horizontal and vertical alignment. So let's have a look at that. So how to do that? This div, that's exactly what we want. To horizontally center a block element is margin auto. We have to have a width and we use just margin auto. So um, if you don't specify a width, we are specifying a width. Um, and I think we can get rid of that. And we can go live view. Let's have a look. Center of the image, we use left and right margin. Let's actually specify a. So this is 100% correct, or the more correct way to do it. So left and right margin are auto. Um, there we go. Oh, we've written there, so that's why it's not. So there. Now that is starting to get towards what we want. So my margin left was overriding my top margin. So that was a mistake I was making. So let's have a look at um, in here. We've got our privacy policy, so have a look at that. So that's starting to be not too bad. 
So the next video I'm going to go through is I'm actually going to go and how do I put a banner in and how do I put image and text beside. So um, there's three videos so far. The first one is setting up Dreamweaver and getting a navigation happening. The second one was um, actually linking the pages in the navigation. And this third one was actually doing the privacy policy. I would actually probably change the color of the font like that is not very readable. Um, and I would actually spend some time picking um, a much better font. It's a bit too close together, um, like that font here and that font there are much more readable than this font. So font choice is really, really important. Um, that this is nearly unreadable because the font's too close together um, and not very good. So um, the next video, the fourth one, is going to be about putting a banner in and we can put the banner above our navigation um, and it's also the one after that will probably be an image and some text beside it. So thank you for watching.